In this video, I cover three reasons why your career isn't progressing. Life isn't fair. You work so hard, put in a lot of hours, you are more competent than your co-workers, but you are not getting promoted. You know that you're doing a better job than others, but your boss doesn't appreciate you. Either way, you feel behind in your career. It's not progressing, not as it should anyway. Maybe you still like the work or the company or the status that comes with your job, but given everything, you are on the brink of quitting. After all, what's the point if you're not appreciated and you're not going anywhere? Hey Rebels, my name is Kai, and I have felt like that, not being appreciated, feeling that I don't get what I deserve. But a few years on from that in the harsh daylight of truth, I also noticed that there were a few contributing factors of my career stalling. That's what I want to share with you and take you on my journey so that you don't have to leave your job to find out what it takes to propel your career forward. And even if you would leave, that doesn't solve the issue. You just take those into the next role and the next role until we finally solve those issues. Starting with number one, being complacent and feeling entitled. Have I offended you? Hear me out. Do you remember the time when you started your job or a new career? You were excited. You had a lot of enthusiasm just going into work. You wanted to solve problems. You wanted to do the best thing that you can for the company. And of course, you also wanted to make a great impression. A few months or years into it, that often looks very different. Because now you've put so much work and you deserve to be there. And when then your career stalls a little bit, you think to yourself, what's the point? And you become complacent. And if you think that you don't get what you deserve, I want you to stop. Are you still coming in with the same enthusiasm, with the same willingness to solve problems? Yes, you deserve to be compensated fairly for your work, but the company has already done that, so there is nothing more you deserve. And the question becomes, what are you now prepared to put in to get yourself to the next level? And now you say, hey, I put in a lot of work. I often work harder than my coworkers. I have a lot of enthusiasm for my work. It's so frustrating. Which brings me to number two. You are not focusing on the right things. I already hear you saying, hey, listen, I have a job description. I've got a boss who tells me what to do. What do you mean I'm not focusing on the right things? And yes, if you want a job, that's what you do. But if you want a career, you actually have to do something in addition to that. You have to make yourself valuable to the company. The way I manage this very particularly difficult task is to set one hour a day away. Yes. There are tasks that you have to do, undoubtedly, but one hour a day, I didn't allow myself at all to do any business as usual tasks. I would just sit there and ask myself, where does the company want to go? What does the company want to achieve? And then how can I contribute to that? And on some days, I couldn't achieve much. But even doing a little bit towards that goal, means that you do more than 80% of the regular workforce. We become so comfortable just doing what we are told to do. We become even uncomfortable using our own brain and imagination. And over time, we lose that ability. But that ability is the one thing that you need to progress your career. Now doing all of that, you still see your coworkers getting promoted rather than yourself. You see them seemingly have an easier time or having more money. That is so demotivating. Which brings me to number three, you're not building the right relationships. Great, so now I need to tell you that you need to brown nose your boss or colleagues in order to get ahead. How I despise those things, because I've seen it, I came across colleagues who got promoted, who had great relationships with other people. I was a bit jealous and yeah, life didn't seem fair. But later I realized that this had nothing to do with brown nosing. It's something entirely different. See, in order to achieve goals, we need each other. Our lives are interdependent. 
So if you want to progress your career further, go out into your organization and find those people who have similar goals. And then you go and help them achieve those goals because nothing gets you recognized faster than somebody else talking positively about you, maybe in a meeting or in their annual review with their boss. And yes, sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes you come across people who are not worthy of your help. But more often than not, if you find the people who have similar goals in the organization, you will progress your career much faster. Click the like button, by the way, when this video is helpful so that YouTube can show it to others and they can benefit too. But before you go, this last aspect about coworkers, that's an interesting one. Sometimes we come across people who are very toxic. And if you want to have a better strategy of dealing with those people, watch the video that's on the screen right now. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.